What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Um, today we're in the garage, we're working on my bagger and we are finally getting ready to install these parts that I've been waiting on for a while or waiting to install for a while. Um, I didn't want to miss the content for you guys so I just waited through the, the bad parts of the winter here so we could get out to the garage and and start installing some parts on this on this bagger here. So um, let's get the bike on the lift and we'll check out the parts after that. Today we are going to install some radial calipers and the radial caliper adapters um, to run the newer style sport bike uh, mono uh, style of radial caliper. We're going to have to um, run a bracket and what it does is it mounts where the stock caliper mounts and it, it basically essentially moves out to the radial mount. Um, these stock calipers on these older baggers here are absolutely terrible. Uh, these things don't want to stop worth a crap. So um, I do have aftermarket rotors on the bike, although they're just chrome and a stainless steel line up to the, up to the master. So let's check out the new parts we have to install on the bike today. So these are the adapters and they are made out of aluminum. And what they do is they mount to the leg like so with these two and then the caliper mounts on here and these are through i think bagger brothers i found them on amazon for right at 100 bucks and that way you can run the uh the radial style of caliper that's on modern uh sport bikes these are off a of jigsaw 600 a thousand something like that these are right at about a hundred bucks off of ebay and these caliper brackets uh they come with all the hardware and spacing that you need these will fit like i think it's like 11 and a half inch rotor to 11.8 inch rotor uh, with all the spacers in between um i think i have everything to install it got some new uh bolts for the lines um these did come with with brand new pads in there, which I wasn't expecting, which is awesome. So um, let's get the old stuff off. I think I think what I'm gonna do is we'll lose, we'll get these two bolts out of the way, then we'll crack these bleeders and get all the brake fluid drained out and get to installing that new stuff.
down first. Just look at these brackets here. Uh, let's try to get a good view of this. But there's a raised side of this bracket. Um, and it looks like this flat side is the side that you want towards the leg. So this is going to be the uh, driver's side, if you will, if you're thinking about a car. Because um, you want the flat mounting surface right here. And this raised section will go towards the wheel. So let's get these little brackets installed and we'll go from there. All right, another thing um, in this hardware, there's long bolts at the back and short bolts. And these short bolts are going to be for mounting the caliper. The long ones are going to be to mount the caliper to the bracket. And they all have lock washers and individual washers. And then there's some spacers for the actual caliper. That way you can make sure this caliper is centered on the rotor. That way it's not to the back of the rotor and too far in. Uh, that way you can get the spacing right. So let's just hand tight these um, bracket bolts back up. We'll put a dab of just Loctite for now on them and go from there. All right, so I mocked it up a couple times, the caliper um, on that bracket, and it looks like we're gonna use um, three space, three washers here, three washers here, and of course there's a lock washer and a washer on the other side, lock washer, washer on this side. And we're just gonna get it finger tight and make sure everything is located correctly, and then we'll go from there. Looks like I'm gonna have to remove some of these spacers. We might get to, maybe we'll try two. And I need to move this caliper to the other side because I just noticed the bleeder is at the bottom. And uh, yeah, that's not gonna work. Bleeder's gotta be at the top to bleed all the air out of it when we're done. But yeah, let's get this uh, caliper to that other side. And, and this is why we finger tied everything, just to check fitment since there's adjustments that we can make here in everything. Um, and yeah, we'll get it installed on the right side this time. <laughs>
we got this side all installed. Um, my little bolts that I bought for the brake lines aren't gonna work, so what I'm gonna do is have to get a, another bolt tomorrow, and we'll finish the other side and get this thing bled. So we'll catch you tomorrow. All right, guys, welcome back. Um, it is the next day. I have all my bolts uh, secured. I actually had to get new bleeder bolts because um, the ones that I ordered were the wrong thread pitch. So uh, we got two new bleeder bolts for the lines. Uh, we got all these tight final assembled here. Got all my spacing right. Um, yeah, so we got all the lines on and brackets on and everything ready to go. Um, what we got to do now is lower down the bike and bleed the brakes. And I wanted to show you something that works for me on these bikes. Um, hopefully it should work with these calipers. One thing I wanted to know is um, you never want to mix brake fluids together. So these were completely flushed out and I'm just gonna go back with the dot five because that's what I have here. That's what's in the master and we'll use that. Um, I know multiple people that have run that dot five with these and seem to have good luck. So let's get the bike lower down and we'll take this cap off and I'll show you what I do to bleed these. feels good now and one thing I didn't mention earlier was that um, anytime you get brake fluid on paint uh, regardless of uh, what type it is uh, you want to wipe it up and clean it up right away because this brake or brake fluid is uh, really corrosive to paint and will eat right through it just like paint thinner so you want to be careful with that keep plenty of rags and cleaners and stuff like that so um, that's gonna be it for this one guys uh, like comment subscribe Take it easy and we'll see y'all in the next one.